for a long time my schedule was uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I did three videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so you ended up with nine videos in a week. Thinking about going towards something like that again, like you know, like maybe three times a week, like maybe do two videos. I don't know. I really just don't know. There's the portal. I don't know. I really just don't know what I want to do with the schedule. Like the current schedule is not really working out. Due to the fact that I just don't have time to, you know, as much time to record. I have my I have time on the weekends, but uh, I've also got to get other things done. At, you know, some point during the week, things like grocery shopping and such. I typically do that on the weekend. of the future! Sorry, I'll stop trying to suck the last little bits of Dr. Pepper out of my soda. <laughs> so if Ryu is the Yore Dragon... Is Fulu? And I, don't, I never really got this. I, I might have just missed it. Is Fulu also the Yore Dragon? I know they're half the same person, but they specifically call Ryu the Yore Dragon. Ah, so we got to go back to India and go in the basement and find the wind flute. Yay! For your uselessness, I'm going to steal your arm. Thankfully, we have to take a shortcut out of here. We don't have to go all the way around. Seems easy enough, if a bit roundabout. And another thing I want to talk about also was the the games that I'm going to play. I, I'm trying to I'm thinking about playing I'm thinking about looking for some games that are going to be like palate cleansers. Oh, where is size? So, they're going to be like probably different games. They're not going to be RPGs definitely. So we no longer have Sias in our party, which makes me sad, because he's so good. But anyway, oh yeah, by the way, there's uh, that uh, fishing spot, and over here we have the Oracle's house. And while we're here, let's set up camp and go visit the fairies.
Sure. No messages. Oh, come on. I got loads of random battles. Now, uh, one thing I may or may not have went over, you probably want all of your fairies to work. For the most part, you want normal working speed. Uh, I was kind of hoping some more fairies would be born. You know what? Three of you to all gather food. That's depressing. I don't get it. You knew about the wind flute. Alright, she knew about the wind flute. Then, by extension, the king knew about the wind flute. And it is a commonly known fact you need the wind flute to get into the Tower of Wind. And it's a commonly known fact that you go to the Tower of the Wind to meet Pyong Ryong. Why did we go visit the Oracle of the Wind? To get permission? Yeah, probably. Anyway, in case I didn't go over it before, uh, the way you get Momo's abilities is based on your, uh, your game clock. You have to have something like 50, 60 hours logged to get all of her abilities. Okay. 10 hours is not enough. <laughs> I have it written down somewhere how much time you need, but I'm not worried about it. Uh, she does have one really good ability. Uh, called Oracle. Uh, Oracle is... Do I already have Magic Ball? No, I don't already have... I don't already have that. Oracle is basically Magic Sword from the, first, from the third game. If you have played the third game and not this one. It's a physical attack that uses your intelligence instead of your strength. It's one of two abilities that do that, but it's the stronger of the two. Uh, Nina can seriously murder something if you give her uh, either Magic Ball or Oracle. Thankfully, we already know exactly where we need to go. And here, one of these is Nina's room. And I meant to come in here earlier and I forgot. I think that one's Nina's room, and I think this one is Alina's. Yeah. So we get a wisdom fruit and a soul gem. Nice. Although the soul gems are not nearly as good in this game as they were in the previous one. Right. 
Welcome to the dunger, dungeon under Windia Castle. You know, now that I think about it, there's a dungeon under three of the four Windia Castles. Uh, Breath of Fire 1, like, like when I say dungeon, I mean like place with monsters. I don't, I, I mean it in the D&D &D sense, not the, uh, you're going to jail sense of dungeon. Uh, Breath of Fire 2, they had that maze that looked like it should have had monsters, but it didn't. You know, remember when you had Mina in your party right after you got Nina and defeated Joker and you were going back and you come up to the gardens? Giant cockroaches. Nothing really special about the giant cockroaches. They can teach you DAOs, but they only use DAOs when they have an in when they're with an enemy that can uh, take advantage of the fact that they that they can cast DAOs. So they won't use it here. They'll just continuously use jump, which you cannot learn. So yeah, probably not going to uh, switch. Urshan in a spot. In case you're wondering what Dows does, it actually makes you more susceptible to fire attacks. Right, ah, another soul gem that I'll never use. Got zombie doctors. Zombie doctors can teach you fint if uh, you know you you want to learn. If you haven't learned fint already, I think I have. But if I have, oh well. They also uh, you can also steal a fighting robe from them if you really want to to do that. Uh, you're probably not going to get the chance because the zombie doctors like to when they get low on HP, they like to cast heal on themselves. Uh, and them being zombies. <laughs> Means that it kills them, so, yeah. But if you get really lucky, you could, you know, you can win. They also, uh, drop Panseas fairly regularly. So that's very good. Now, there is a gimmick to this dungeon. We won't get to it for, for a few minutes. For a few seconds, anyway. Okay, I think... Yeah, there's the gimmick. The strong winds. Now, if you go up this way... There's a chest. No! Get. <sighs> and you get a bunch of swallow eyes, which is really nice. If you just run straight up into the door, you should be good. The swallow eyes are a lot harder to get to than the door. Nina. And then for some reason, uh, Castle Windia has clockwork machinery underneath it. Straightforward. I'm not real sure why they have this. But you also can't uh, turn the map while you're, uh, can't turn the screen while you're on the things. So, yeah. It's 
just a waiting game. right here is probably the most annoying part of this dungeon. Well, there's a zombie doctor. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I might try and steal a little bit. Use item. Just do this. Fighting robes are actually pretty decent armor for Nina at this point in the game, and a few other per uh, persons in your party. Eh, I'm really not that concerned with getting one. I thought I might try once, though. But this right here is the most annoying part of this dungeon. You have a long corridor and that wind that blows you back, and what you're supposed to do to save yourself is get into these cavities. You can actually, uh... You can actually make it to a cavity as it's pushing you back, so you don't have to go back so far. very hard for me to see the little wind. I don't know if you can see that better than I can, but uh, it's very dark for me. But here we have... The wind flute. Now, how do we get out of here? Well, we just go back the way we came. So yes, we have to wait for the little clockwork thingies all over again. In fact, I'm probably... You know what? I'm going to just meet you outside. You know the way out. So I'll see you then.